So May 5th is a significant day for Indigenous people. It's the Red Dress Day. It's um, in honouring of missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, boys, men. And the dresses symbolize missing and murdered Indigenous people, and one of them also symbolizes my best friend Misty, who's been missing since 2015. She was a PhD student. Um, she went missing, she was 37, um, and she's still, she's still missing. The government ended up doing a national inquiry after much recommendation for it. So the recommendation has over 1,200 women listed, but we believe there's more in that that are missing and murdered. And I think that's important to share the statistics about it because it's what we're seeing now is one in every five women, ex she's exposed or experiences some type of violence in her life. And we all already know that it's three times as frequent and it's three times as abusive. And so that's a lot when you consider the population of Indigenous people, it's, it's a lot that the women experience in their lifetime. I've been commissioned to make a red dress by um, Shina Quinns and it's an art installation and it's going to be a jingle dress. So the women would wear these dresses for healing for their community, for themselves if they needed healing and for their family members. And so the dress will have miniature ladies on the dress and with the jingles and when you hear the jingles sound when they dance, when they move, then you'll hear it's healing, it's like rain. When we look at making these dresses, our mentors would have made them, our grandmothers, their sisters, and some of those are now the missing and murdered Indigenous women, and so that role's been lost. I like to think that it's going to live in resiliency and in truth and reconciliation, and that it's being an art installation, so it's showing the, the collaboration of Indigenous people and allies walking forth together now in ways to have dialogue and support each other. So that's how I see it moving forward as a conversation piece, as a way to start dialogue, but as a way to see the resiliency of Indigenous women and girls.